Daja how everybody welcome to today's video we'll be on a tour of Danshui a seaside area here in northern Taiwan Situated where the Danshui River meets the sea Danshui's evolution reflects Taiwan's past. Initially a hub for indigenous and foreign trade, it experienced Spanish and Dutch rule before the Qing Dynasty took over in 1683. Danshui opened to global trade after Qing's defeat in the Second Opium War in 1858, altering its landscape and turning it into a pivotal port among global empires like Britain, France, and Japan. Now a top attraction in Taipei, Danshui boasts coastal charm and historic districts. Today we'll cover its legacy on this video featuring highlights such as the Fort San Domingo, ex-colonial residence, and the iconic Danshui boardwalk with its famed sunsets. All right, guys, we just left the Dantue MRT. We're walking along the uh, boardwalk area, and we're heading to the Douglas Capri Company. This is the first site on our tour. We'll give you some more details once we get there. It's about a 15-minute walk from the station, so let's continue walking. Douglas Leprec & Co. was among the first foreign firms established in Danshui after the Qing Dynasty was forced to permit foreign businesses following the 1858 Second Opium War. British businessman Douglas Leprec started his shipping enterprise after Britain took over Hong Kong. Later, his nephew, John Stuart Leprec, expanded the business into Taiwan. By the 1870s, the company had set up shop in Danshui and led the island shipping industry for over three decades. Next up is the former residence of Taka Ikiti. Constructed in 1934, this home was property of Tada Akichi, a prominent local leader and entrepreneur. Designed to accommodate the Japanese elite, it was among the first private homes equipped with indoor plumbing and boasts stunning views of the surrounding mountains and river. Currently, it stands as one of the best examples of Japanese architecture in Danshui. Next up is the Danshui Custom Officer Residence, also known as the Little White House. All right, guys, I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If so, give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Affectionately called the Little White House by locals for its distinctive white facade, the Customs Officer Residence was erected in 1866 to house the increasing contingent of foreign officials in Danshui. During the era of Japanese rule, it served as a social club for current and former customs officers. Now it's a favorite location for wedding photos due to its charming setting. 
Hey guys, if you want to learn more about Taiwan, check out my Taiwan travel blog. The link will be in the description below. All right, guys, we're headed on to the oldest building in Danshui, which is Fort San Domingo. Fort San Domingo is not only the oldest site we'll see on this tour, but one of the oldest buildings remaining in Taiwan. Nine different administrations have been in charge of this fort since the Spanish built it nearly 400 years ago. Following the establishment of treaty ports in 1862, it was rented to the British to serve as a consulate, a role it fulfilled for nearly a century until it severed diplomatic relations with Taiwan in 1972. Adjacent to the fort, you'll find the former residence of the British Consul, which has been converted into a museum. Initially a Qing Dynasty military base, the Danshui Custom Office took on customs operation as Danshui grew into Taiwan's leading port. Post-World War II, the site passed from military to civilian hands and is now a favored cultural site. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the tour of Danshui and the historical sites. Until next time, Dai Zhao Zai Jen, see you on the next video.